I can eat this every, every day. This is good. We are going to make a grain free version of strawberry icebox cake. And let me tell you something, this thing is so easy to make and it's so good, nobody will ever know. Strawberry icebox cake has three layers. It has a graham cracker crust layer, a whipped cream layer, and sliced strawberries. Today, we are gonna make a grain-free graham cracker crust using some almond flour. So we wanna get this done first so they can cool, and then we can go ahead and put all those layers together. So I'm gonna go ahead and preheat my oven to 350 degrees. Okay, and while that's heating up, I'm gonna mix the graham cracker uh, ingredients together. So in this bowl, I have two cups of almond flour, and to that, I'm going to add half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and one teaspoon of baking soda. Then I'm going to add uh, three tablespoons of coconut sugar, but you can also use brown sugar. So that is all of the dry ingredients. So just give that a really good stir. And then we're gonna add the wet ingredients straight to this. First, I have four tablespoons of melted butter. I have a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And I have a quarter cup of honey. So you wanna mix this, and then all of these ingredients are gonna to start to come together. It's gonna to look like it's really, really dry. Just use your hands and get in there and just kind of press this dough together. And as you do this, the almond flour is gonna to start to absorb the liquids and become hydrated and pick up all those loose, dry bits that are in the bowl. Resist the urge to add more liquid at this point because it will come together. Take this dough, kind of work it together, put it on parchment paper. And I know it looks dry, but you don't want too, too much moisture in this. Now I'm gonna put a second piece of parchment paper on top and I'm gonna use a rolling pin to roll this out. So let me kind of wash my hands up and I'll be right back. I have a rolling pin that has a quarter inch rolling guide on it and I'm gonna use it to help roll this out to one quarter inch of thickness. So I like to kind of turn it as I go along. And with this recipe, it doesn't have to be perfectly shaped because you're gonna kind of break it up and put it in layers. We're gonna transfer this to a baking sheet and peel the top part off. Use a knife or a, a pizza cutter to make this. These will kind of break apart and make it easier to layer. If you want to, you can take a fork and make them really look like graham crackers. Everybody's gonna really see them, so this is kind of like an extra step that doesn't really do anything to deflate them or anything like that. Also, I think I said a tablespoon of baking soda, but that's actually a teaspoon, so I'll make sure I correct that. Oops. So now, we're just gonna put this in the oven and we're gonna bake it for 14 minutes. While the graham crackers are cooking, we are gonna make some homemade whipped cream. You can use Cool Whip, but that's not real cream, so this is so easy to make. If you've never made it, you gotta try it. Um, it needs to have a stabilizer, so I'm putting uh, to one and a half cups of cream, I'm gonna put three quarters of a teaspoon of cream of tartar. And then also, I don't know if you know this or not, but powdered sugar that you buy at the store has cornstarch in it. And we want this to be grain-free, so 
I took regular sugar, I put it into a blender, and I just blended it into a very fine powder. And you want that fine powder because you want it to dissolve easier. So that's why I'm putting powdered. So to this, I'm gonna add six teaspoons of powdered sugar. And all you do to make whipped cream is you beat it with an electric mixer until there are stiff peaks. And it really only takes a few minutes. Okay, that's it. Like I said, it doesn't take very long. And just as a note, you don't have to put this much sugar as I did. That's totally up to you. So if you don't like it that sweet, just put less. And if you like it sweeter, put more. You can always taste it and add some more later. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep this in the fridge while we slice up some strawberries. The next step in the dish is the strawberries. So you just want to remove the stems and chop them into thin slices. Make sure you wash them first, obviously. So let me get these chopped up and I'll be right back and we'll put this whole thing together. All right, you guys, it's time to assemble this strawberry icebox cake. So take a little bit of, of the uh, whipping cream and kind of put a few dabs on the bottom of an eight by eight baking dish. And this is gonna be like a little bit of glue to kind of keep the, the graham crackers from sticking. So you're gonna just layer them in the bottom. Now these aren't crispy like regular graham crackers, but they taste just like a graham cracker. Okay, I like to press that down. Now I'm gonna put half of this whipped cream in this second layer, or this first layer, sorry. You could probably double this recipe for a nine by 13 size dish. But just use an offset spatula to push that cream cheese around, I mean a uh, cream cheese, whipped cream around into a nice even layer. Layer on your strawberries. Okay, so just like that. It's a little messy, but no big deal. So we're gonna do another layer of the graham crackers. Again, press that down. And now I'm gonna put the rest of the whipped cream on top. So let's go ahead and put the rest of the strawberries on and then we'll pop it in the fridge. And that's it. And voila, you have your grain-free strawberry icebox cake. So I'm gonna put this in the fridge and let's go ahead and see what it tastes like. Okay, let's dive in to this. Let me get it out all in one big piece. Oops. Uh, who cares? It tastes like a graham cracker. This is good. Wow. You know what? I don't think anybody would be able to tell that this isn't real graham crackers. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Y'all, I know this looks like a mess on this plate right now, but I'm telling you right now. This is where it's at right here. I can eat this every, every day. Mm. Come here, Mikey. <laughs> There's a lot of mmms over here. 
creamy. It's even better the colder it gets. If I stole that piece last night, it wasn't this cold. <laughs> mm. All right, go make you some of this. You're going to love it.